So it looks like we may have a few delays this year for major software releases. Apple looks to be doing things a little bit different. There's some new information in regards to Apple's next major updates for other platforms. And I wanted to share those details with you guys in today's video. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode now as you may or may not know apple every year releases a major software update for the iphone the ipad the apple tv the apple watch and of course the mac now typically this software gets released all at the same time at least everything except mac os mac os usually is a month later last year we saw mac os 12 released a month later than ios and uh, this year Things are also changing with iPadOS. Now, no other than Mark Gurman, one of the most reliable sources in the industry, has mentioned that this year, Apple plans to release iPadOS and macOS later in October, which means that iPadOS will not be shipping alongside iOS, watchOS, and tvOS like previous years. Now, when can we expect iOS iPadOS, tvOS, watchOS, and macOS to be released. Well, let's talk about iOS first. Now, last year, iOS 15, the first release was on September the 20th. So if we go by history, right, this year we can expect iOS 16 to be released in about a month and a half or so. It is the beginning of August as of the filming of this video. So if it releases by mid to late September, the week of the 19th of September, is when Apple will most likely release iOS 16 to everyone worldwide, alongside watchOS 9, of course, with the new Apple Watch and the new iPhone, which will most likely be announced around the beginning of September, if history is any indication. Now, as I mentioned, this year, Apple is doing things a little different. So in mid to late September, we should get iOS and a watch OS alongside TV OS. However, when it comes to iPad OS this year, that's where things are starting to change. Apple is rumored to be actually releasing iPad OS alongside a Mac OS. And this could have a lot to do with a lot of the new continuity features, a lot of the new center stage stuff that Apple is promoting on iPad. Hopefully they're just aiming to get things right. And it looks like mid to late October is when we can expect a Mac OS Ventura and iPad iPad OS 16 to be released, so maybe a month later. So mid to late September, iOS, watchOS, tvOS, and the following month, maybe on the week of the 17th of October, we see iPad OS and a Mac OS Ventura, which is something entirely different than previous years. Last year, Apple released iPad OS, iOS, tvOS and watchOS on September the 20th last year. So this year, it looks like things will be changing a little bit. Now, iOS did not get delayed as some users were concerned that iOS should have been or could have been delayed. It looks like everything is right on track for iOS 16 as well as watchOS 9 and tvOS. The only thing that's being delayed is, of course, iPadOS because macOS usually releases a little later with some new Macs in the October time frame. And who knows, maybe we'll see some new iPads in October as well. But so far, it looks like mid to late September for iOS, watchOS, and tvOS with the new Apple Watch and the iPhone 14 later this year, and then later on the Mac and the iPad in October, mid to late October. Thank you for watching this update, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace!